Before we actually go into the next section, let's have a quick recap of what we have actually done. So basically we have signed up for Magento Go, we have chosen our plan and then we have created our online store. Then we have added a product to our online store and we have actually created some custom categories. As you remember, we have created a root category and a subcategory. Then we have placed our product inside our root and inside our subcategory folders. And in the last tutorial, we have seen how to actually add some text information and how to set up text settings. Now, once again, I strongly suggest that you check before you actually go and key in your tax percentage rate. So for the country that you're currently in and then set up your tax settings. So in this tutorial, we'll do shipping. So this is basically how your items and your products will be shipped out to your customers. So once again, I will log back into my dashboard. This is the dashboard of my store and I will go to system. From the system, I will go down to configuration. All right, so this is the main configuration page for our store and we have seen this before. So on the left hand side, we'll find many different menus. So let's scroll down and find shipping. There it is. We have shipping settings and shipping methods. First of all, let's go into shipping settings. In the shipping settings, we'll find the origin. Basically, this is where the product is coming from. So if we click on it, we'll find the information we have actually set before. This is the actual address of our store or where the actual product will be shipped from. So if you're happy with this, just leave it as it is. Otherwise, make changes and just make sure you click on save configuration. I'm happy with all this. Therefore, I can just go down again and find this time shipping methods. Click on it. Once again, Magento Go has taken all the hard work away and therefore it's made these shipping methods really, really easy. Here you'll be presented with all the possible shipping methods that you can select. So let's have a look. The first one is the flat rate. So basically what this is, is a flat rate shipping as the name suggests. Basically it doesn't matter what the product is, its size, its actual dimensions and so on, you will set a flat rate. So for example, you will charge your customers five, six, ten dollars or whatever, regardless of the item or the product they're actually selecting. So let's have a look here. First of all, if you choose to actually use this one, you would have to enable it and then you can give it a title or you can give it a method name and then you can choose whether or not you want this to be per item, per order or none. So basically I would most probably go per order. So if a customer orders, for example, 10 items, I will just charge them in this case $5. Now you can go ahead and then actually choose how you would like to calculate your hand, uh, handling fee. So whether this is going to be a fixed price or a percentage. And so on. then you can enter a few more information here so you can select some countries. So pretty much at default, as a default, all countries are selected. But if you would like some specific countries, so you can go specific and then you can select from a list of countries. So for example, if you're in Europe and some countries are closer by to your country than others, you will probably select some of those countries and then you would create a new rule for countries which are outside of your radius. So basically this is something very easy. This is the easiest way to actually get your shipping methods. And you know, if you're having, if you're actually selling a, just one particular type, so, so if you're just selling one particular type of product, this may be a good idea because you will charge your customers per product and all the time the shipping will actually be exactly the same. However, if you're having many different products, this is probably not the best way to actually go about your shipping methods because, you know, it's going to cost you a bit more or less for some different items to actually ship out. So I will not use this and I'll just go no here and I will just collapse this. The next available option is the table rates. So if we expand this, of course, the first one is the enabled. So whether or not this shipping method is actually enabled, currently it says it no. And if we change it to yes, we would actually have to change a few more things here. Now what this is, it's actually the price of shipping is calculated on many different aspects of combinations. So here you'll find those combinations. So you can go weight versus destination. So basically how heavy your how heavy your product is and where you're sending it or price versus destination or actually you can have a number of items versus destination. 
and there are a few more actually settings here that you can go through and once again down the bottom you will actually select which countries this actually applies to so I'm not going to use this and I'll actually go no alright the next one is free shipping and this is becoming ever more popular to actual e-commerce basically a lot of stores in e-commerce business are now offering free shipping to enable free shipping one to enable free shipping once again we'll go here and select yes we'll actually enter a title a method name and then we can actually select a minimum order amount so basically if we say to get free shipping you have to at least buy five items or products from our online store and there's the, the and there is actually the displayed error message so basically if someone wants to use free shipping however they have not actually purchased five or more items this is something that will be displayed to their purchasing order once again all the countries are actually down here so you can select from a list or you can apply this to all countries and then there's the sort order which is actually as a default the name of your actual store so let's collab this one and basically all the shipping methods I like to divide them into a couple of groups first of all there is a flat rate so basically this is just dependent, independent of the size or the weight you will charge your customers for example five dollars per your order or per item then there is this one that calculates the actual uh, shipping costs so using a couple of different attributes and combining them then there is the free shipping and the rest of this is actually using already existing shipping companies so for example this is for USA so there's a couple of them and probably the most um, the most popular one would be either the DHL or the actual FedEx so let's open one of those and once again enable a checkout if you're using this you would go yes title you would leave it as um, Federal Express or maybe you can just go FedEx or whatever you want to give it a title to now with this outside or third party actually shipping companies what you need to do is actually you need to go to their website and actually log in and create an account then the information that it provide you with will be used here so you can actually set up your shipping method inside your online store so basically like I said you have to go up you have to go out to their website create an account and when you come back you will have to enter this information here so for example for FedEx you will have to have an account ID you have to have a meter number, key, password, and so on. Also, according to their actual attributes, you can actually select here whether or not you want a sandbox. You can select your packaging, so you can go with the envelope, pack, box, and everything else. Then you can select your weight units, whether you want pounds or kilograms, drop off or a pickup, or drop off, whether you want a regular pickup, or maybe you want business service center, station, and so on then you will come to actual maximum package weight so once again it says here to consult your shipping carrier for maximum support the shipping weight so basically you cannot enter that you would basically you cannot say that if you have a product that's actually five tons and you want to sign it using fat x and their limit on the weight is maybe 100 kilograms you will not be able to actually use this particular shipping company to ship out your, your product next one you have to actually calculate the handling fee so is there a handling fee yes you would set a percentage and you would actually select what that percentage is handling applied per order per package so if you're using this i'll probably go per package because uh, we're actually dealing with different we might be dealing with different products which are actually different in size and in weight so i would suggest that you use per package and then you can put your actual hand handling fee now there's also an option to actually get residential delivery and you can actually select whether or not you want to send a declared value now you can see here what actually methods are allowed so for FedEx you can get your first property one day two days group server express and there's quite a lot of them here so basically these are all of the available methods of sending or shipping out your actual product then you go ahead and you would enter your hub number and once again this field will be available only if a smart post method is selected so most of this is pretty self-explanatory basically you will just have to choose which actual shipping methods you would like to use open it up and if you're using a third-party career so like DHL or maybe 
FedEx, you would actually have to go to their website and actually create an account with them. Once you actually create an account with them and you get all the required information, you will come back here and enter that information such as account name, your password and everything else that will be provided by those companies. Once you're actually done with all that, you would hit on site config and this would now save your configuration for your shipping method. So basically we have seen how to change the actual postal address of our store. So if you're not happy with that, we can go and actually set the shipping settings. So basically we are changing the address of our store. So where the package is coming from, and then we can actually go and select a preferred message, a preferred shipping method from this menu here. And once again, we can see that this message here has been actually displayed. Setting up your shipping methods, as you can see, it's quite easy and Magento Go takes all the hassle out of it. You just have to enter some information and choose your preferred shipping method.